Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Tectonica. And I have been doing a little bit of work off camera. Uh, I don't know if you can, well, you can't actually tell right now, but uh, as you know, we do have some tasks we have to do. We have some doors to repair, and uh, eventually you to get working onto the freight elevator. Um, I have been sort of trying to get these processors going, and we're actually doing at a pretty good rate. I got about 2,500 of them right now. Uh, I've been trying to keep these machines running. Uh, I've been having issues with plant matter frames, so I had to uh, uh, sort of double up the production over here. So these are uh, sort of keeping up. I haven't gotten a buffer yet, but they're staying on the belt, and that's what that's what matters to me. Uh, as far as the Atlantum goes, the Atlantum is kind of struggling. It's not really producing enough mixture, so it's almost like I would need two assemblers for one smelter. But uh, we might be getting some uh, assemb assembling speed assembler speed upgrades in the next uh, tier upgrade. Uh, we do have a warehouse to hey, hey, explore and scan new things. Uh, we do have to look at this overtime thing. Now, I don't know exactly what they mean by the whole overtime. Like, it just says build in place. I don't know if they have to actually be running, but I need to find the assembler mark twos, which I think is going to be in the warehouse over at the freight elevator. Uh, I have to place more drills, which yeah, I'm sure we'll get that eventually, as I can actually make those ones. It's just uh, we need these processes for them. And then we got the Thresher Mark II, which I still have to find, but I do have some, but I can't actually make them. Uh, another thing I have done is we'll run over here. Now, I did this because I was thinking that this whole overtime thing was something else than what it was. And what I've done is I actually started mass producing crank generators. And the reason why I need to do that is Mark II's actually need, uh, let's get out of here, uh, it's the wrong button, uh, the Mark II's actually need eight of the Mark I's. Now that is actually not bad, uh, except for the fact that you got to dump a, a, a couple, little bit of an Atlantum into it, but it's eight times as m much power, so with the amount of crank generators I have over at the... Uh, over at Crystal Falls there, oh my god, it's going to be a lot of power. Anyway, um, so what we're going to do is we're going to get a whole bunch of stuff. What else did I do? Oh yeah, I did something else here. Uh, cooling systems. I actually started getting these into storage so we can have a bit of a backlog. We're trying to do that too. Same with over here. Uh, I haven't really been doing buffer chests of every single item that we're doing, well, that I'm doing. So I've been doing that now. I've got uh, copper components in there. I've, over here I've got um, electrical components. I've got mechanical components downstairs or over here actually. Uh, copper wires. And this sh should be... I can't remember what this was supposed to be. And uh, we got that. Oh, that was, uh, that was supposed to be mechanical components. I think so. I can't remember. Anyway, uh, let's go and uh, grab our all our stuff and start going unlocking these doors. I'm not going to worry about unlocking Victor yet, or the next tier. I do have enough for that. I just want to go get these doors unlocked. They've been sort of sitting there for a while. Uh, also, I have the flying charges, so I do actually have everything ready to go to unlock the next tier of Victor. So we will do that shortly. So what I need is I need cooling systems. Oh, actually I got them already. I did. All right, let's have a look at our list here. Oh yeah, uh, that was the other one. Is I need the 300 processing units, which I do have over here. I have been making sure to like bulk process. Well, not necessarily bulk process, but uh, try to keep keep a backlog. You know, uh, keep them producing, even though the machines that they're that need them are currently in process. But anyways, uh, what I'm going to do next is... Which is the oldest one? RL. Where is RL? RL. RL is over here. Alright. Let's go check this one out. And see what this is. I have no... I can't even remember half these doors anymore. I've been all over the place so many times. Huh. I don't ever remember seeing that one there. Uh... Maybe it had something to do with the update. Oh, yeah, they were... I think they mentioned something about... Yeah. I think they had mentioned something about uh, having more machines around uh, for newer players. Uh, is this the way? No, it's not. Uh, let me find out where it is, and I'll bring you back when I'm there. Ah, it was this one. So now we got to make our way back down there. 
float down like a butterfly. Uh, can't do anything with this yet. And so this one was... I think we have to go inside for this one, don't we? Let's see. Is there a door here? There is. Okay. Aha! Inspect. Alright, you need advanced circuits and you need cooling units. And there we go. Alright, what's in here? Ooh, I'll take that. And it is complete. Alright, I have that. And this is another one I was looking for. It was a stack, inst stack inserter. I need five. There just happens to be five here. Love it. Alright. That's actually going to help him so much because it's, a lot of times, it's the loading of the machine that makes it difficult, especially with the thresher, because sometimes, like, uh, sometimes you need, like, eight and eight, and the process time is, like, ten seconds. But, anyways, what do we have here? Uh, all our cap, okay, so I think that's a uh, capacity of monorail cars or whatever. And we have track reach, okay. It's all monorail stuff that I haven't gotten into yet. What do we have here? Mole speed mark two, mark four. Ooh, uh, gonna actually uh, research that now. Terraforming. No, that's gonna be the next tier rock, the next uh, Victor unlock. All right, was there anything else in here? Uh, I came in this way. There's another hallway down here. Let's go investigate. Oh, hello. I think I've been here already. Wait a minute. Oh, did that unlock both sides of the door? It must have. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna look around a little bit more and then uh, if I find anything I'll bring you back. If not, I'll be at the next uh, next door. Ah yes, over here at Crystal Falls. Alright, let's see what this one does. Gets us I think I might get us uh get me the thresher inside here. Alright, so you need the advanced processors and regular processors. Alright, advanced circuits are Oh. I know what I'm doing, trust me. Alright. Oh. Probably could have just gone in through. Never mind. <laughs> is there actually a way to get in? Oh my god, there is. I bet you that wasn't there, wouldn't be there until you actually open the door. Anyway, let's uh, see what we find here. Uh, the expedition. Okay, nothing. Now uh, we do have this to scan. Cord, cool dense three, okay, and accumulator three, okay, and the world bearer, okay, and as expected, there was not much in here, not even a chest to loot. What a shame! What a shame too. I had to go all that way just to realize could have gone up through here. Oh wow. Alright, uh, next, let's go to the warehouse, and here we are, I want to just check on, see what's going on here, okay, yeah, that is good to go, so let's go ahead and unlock this door, and see what kind of goodies we can get, alright, I am recording, just had to make sure, and there we go, alright, let's see what we got in here that old scanner out. Pack size 4. Uh, I think that's for me, not containers. Uh, mole flatten. Mole tunneling. Of course, give me all the stuff I don't have now. What is this? Mist grass. What is that? Data bank. Hmm. I just want to see what this is all about. Nothing. Okay. Just filler for now, I guess. Uh, 
Rapid construction doctrine. Okay. Now for the goodies. I've already done that. Ooh, pre Atlanta. Don't mind if I do. And now for the thresher. One, two, three, uh, four, and five. There we go. All that free stuff. Oh wow, getting free voltage steppers out of it too. Cool. Uh, that is sail foot. Hmm. What do we got here? Stat cap two. Yeah, this is basically giving me all the stuff I don't have just yet. I don't think oh there is one over there. See if I can get to it. Look at that. Uh, Rail Rush 3. Okay, yeah, that's just an upgrade for the Magnet, which I haven't even used yet because I haven't built them on rail because uh, they haven't actually fixed the bug yet. And I'm not exactly sure what it is. I think it has to do with uh, power not being transferred from one grid to another if it's a monorail con connected or something. But I'm not 100% sure. But anyways, what's this? That cap 4. Uh, of course. Alright, well... Oh, there's a chest. Two crank wheels. Okay. And... I'm gonna clean up the rest of the loot and I'll bring you back when I'm done. Okay, I got everything, but there is one thing here that's kinda odd. Excalibur panel. These are pieces of the Excalibur, right? That giant tunnel borer you drove us all down here in. Yes. Every facility and piece of equipment you see anywhere on Calyx was once a part of the Excalibur. It always seemed unnecessarily complicated to me. Why couldn't we just dig a giant hole and throw everything in it? The Excalibur was designed to have structural pieces removed from it as we descended, enabling us to industrialize new sectors from the moment of the discovery. Your giant hole strategy would have lacked this sophistication. It's an interesting idea. So basically a giant tunnel boring machine that sets up outposts with its own components. Cool. Alright, well that is everything in here. Uh, I think I'm going to head back to the base. We'll unlock Victor to the next level and also see if we can unlock, get that other signal there. Okay, I'm back at the base. Uh, it was a little bit framey, so I adjusted my frame rate a little bit. I actually do have to adjust my sensitivity. Okay, that's a little bit better. I've got it all the way down as far as I'll go, and I can't do much else except for change it on my mouse. But anyways, I am back, so let's go ahead and let's see. Copper frames are in here. Take two stacks of those. I need two stacks of iron frames, which are in here. Yes. Uh, I gotta go upstairs, get the conveyor belts. And... I have everything else. Oop. I hit the wrong button. Of course. Alright, let's go up here. Oh. Really gotta keep my staircases away from conveyor belts. And I would like to get rid of that plant if it's possible, but that's not the case. Alright, so I need 900 conveyor belts. And there we go. Let's get out of here and let's go unlock the next tier here. And then after that, we're going to look at doing this whole overtime thing. Because I do have enough parts to do everything. Alright, so we need that, we need that, we need that. Oh, 900. Okay, uh, we'll do that real quick here. I was thinking 500 for some reason. I don't know why. Okay. There's that. And uh, that. Alright. Now we can go and unlock a tier... What are we at? Tier 9? Tier 8? Uh, does it even say here? No, it doesn't. I have no idea. Alright. Those, 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 and uh, those. Alright. New technologies and recommended tasks available. You can build an upgraded crank generator now. Remember when you used to have to spin those on your own? <sighs> Memories. I thought I could always remake them. Grid and more machines that can make use of it. You're officially out of excuses to not start scaling up this place as much as you can. Get me powered smelters and it might be a little bit easier. 
Now let's actually see what we unlocked here. I have all this research and see what we do. Uh, Alright, mole speed. Let's get that out of the way. I don't care about the tunneling. Uh, can upgrade all that stuff later. Uh, what do we have in here? Oh, assembler mark 2. Yes, please. Assembling speed. Yes, please. Oh, we're getting all the upgrades now. Crafting speed. Yes. Smelting speed. Yes. Biofuel. Yes. Thresher mark 2. Yes. All right, next. Ooh, uh. Yeah, that's for me. Uh, we still got 152. I want to get that. Or research for one more extra stack. Uh, we'll hold off on that for now. Transportation is. Nothing I need to worry about at the moment. I eh, may as well. I'll do that. And I'll take that one as well. Uh, I'm out of research. And there is nothing in science except for... This core clustering part. Now that kind of changed. I tried that, that, as far as I know, that uh, gives you an extra boost depending on how many clusters are actually still stored in the composer that haven't been built. Uh, I tried to do that with that one over there. And I guess there were some gaps that I filled in. I put 46 in and I just got 46 extra points and there's actually nothing in the inventory. So I don't know how that's working. As far as I know, that's a core cluster. Uh, I did find out about the core reassignment and that's just basically you can go into research, for instance. And uh, let's go to something that if you see, if you, as you see, I can deactivate it and I'll actually unresearch that so I won't be able to make the core composers anymore and I can get my research points back but it doesn't really matter with how much research there is it's just crazy and look how much power we're generating wow all right uh what is next oh yes uh the, the signal so new stuff I haven't crafted let's craft one of these we'll craft one of those and I think that's the only oh there's that one too one of these things is going to unlock this signal Shouldn't take too long to make them. Four assemblers for one. Wow. We're gonna have to do some upgrades. That'd be a nice option that they if they like they, they could add is uh assembling uh, upgrading in place like conveyors and stuff like that. Like if I want to upgrade all these conveyors, I have to actually take them apart and then rebuild them. Which is a bit of a pain. But that is the assembler that did not do it. I don't have to place it, it just says craft and possess, and as far as I know, that's the only thing that I don't have available. What am I missing here? Oh, uh, miner and smelter. Pretty sure I made one of those, and I have made one of those. I haven't made one of those. First it was scan all the things, now it's craft all the things. I should take a minute. Uh, what are we doing next here? Uh, next, of course, is going to be upgrading. Uh, for that, maybe what, we'll, maybe what we'll do is I'll bring it back when this is done, and then if that doesn't unlock anything, we'll go check, check out the freight elevator and call it an episode. Maybe. Report to production terminal radio for triangulation. Of all the things it was, it was the rail runner. I crafted everything and it was the rail runner, of course. Alright, let's see where this is. New location added to HUD. Sector wide priority route. Atlantum ore and cooling systems. Okay. Uh now where is it? Right there. Looks like it might be a ways, so I'm gonna grab this stuff and I will meet there. Okay, so it turns out this one is actually really close. And if I look at the map here, it seems to be an area in here. I don't know if I've been in there yet or not. I could probably get down through there, but I think if I uh, dig up here, we would be able to get there. Oh wow, that mole's fast. Alright, what do we got up here? 
Where is that beacon? Down here. Let's have a look at this map again. If I hit the right button, that's not it. There you go. Alright, well... Down here? Or am I going the wrong way? I think I'm lost. Yeah, gotta be down this way then. Uh, let me find it and I'll bring you back when I do. Okay, I found it. Just behind the wall. Oh, well, let's go and investigate, shall we? Probably gonna be early game stuff because I probably should have unlocked this a long time ago. Alright, Atlanta more cooling systems. Right there. This right. is some kind of medical facility. It was pretty rare that people got sick or hurt, but better safe than sorry. And we should be able to find a few upgrades in mint condition because of it. I don't think there's anything left to actually upgrade. And I can't actually do anything with that because I think I got it already. As like I said, this is all early game stuff. Lancet, no idea. And what do we have in here? Yeah, sure. Not that anything that's really gonna help me in at this point. What do we have here? Medical protocols. And uh, nothing else to scan in here. By the looks of it, what do we have in here? We used to get irritating notifications on our suits if we didn't spend enough of our free time with these vitamin D lights. A friend whose name and face I can't remember anymore showed me how to disable them. I think I'll go ahead and disable the notifications on yours, too. As far as I'm concerned, your vitamins are your business. I never got any warnings about vitamin deficiency. Anyway, is there anything else here? No, I think this is just failure almost. And I've already scanned that. And I think that is everything. Oh, maybe not. Storage container, yay. Can learn about those now. Find out what, how to use them. Echo sketch. Yeah, this is all early game stuff. And it looks almost it looks like the the chests are giving tiered things. I know the vibe of a giant broken surgical arm seems sinister in an abandoned hospital. But what doesn't seem sinister in an abandoned hospital? These things were great. They could do checkups right through your suit. I I'm sure they could. All right, what else we got in here? Aha. Jump height. Oh, cool. Oh, she allows me to fly higher with the jet suit or the hover pack. And... Rail Rush 4. Almost sounds like a video game. Rail Rush. I honestly don't know what, what don't want to know what kind of operations they performed in here. And nothing all scannable. And into the final room. What we have more more goodies. Rail Rush 2. Hey, the prequel. To a belt four, which I don't even care about. And I thought these oh they are. Breaker. This facility has the tech we need to get you out of your suit. Maybe we can finally hear your voice and figure out who you are. Give me a second and I'll initiate the removal protocol. When a work suit is all that stands between you and being killed by pretty much everything, they make it a little more complicated than pulling out a zipper. Suit removal denied. Security clearance Sigma. Denied? We'll see about that. Colonel Paladin? I'm sorry, Sergeant. Sigma is not a security clearance I possess. Sir, how could that be possible? The only people who even outrank you are... The only people who outrank me are not your concern. The Groundbreaker does not seem to be in danger or in pain 
They are not disabled or impaired in the ability to construct the machines to meet our objectives. We are in no position to dwell on it. You will drop this matter. Understood. But what if I want to get out of my suit? Like, has anybody ever talked about bathroom breaks? I've been holding it up for a while, you know. Anyway, uh, I think that's everything in here. I don't think there's much else I can do. I don't really know. It almost seems like this is like a late game thing, but realistically, I should have unlocked this so much earlier if I had just crafted that magnet. Alright, so, uh, I think... Honestly, I think I might have... Uh, well, it depends on the processors. I might have enough to actually unlock the next tier of that. But maybe... Maybe the elevator is the way to go. Uh, let me find my way back and then we'll go from there. Okay, I'm back. So, I've decided what we're going to do is we're going to quickly check out this freight elevator. See what's going on here. I don't know if this is going to be like... The end of the game or what's going on. I forgot to scan some stuff. Oh, that, that's the expedition parts. Now, I don't know if this is gonna, if this is like a one-way trip or what, but uh, I think we'll check this out and call the episode here. In the next episode, we're gonna start working on doing the whole uh, working overtime thing and start upgrading all the machines with the assemblers and the threshers and the miners and all that stuff, and see if we can actually unlock that and go from there. But let's see what this does. Something tells me this is game over, or end of the game. To see that the self-repair routines on the elevators have kept them as intact as the production terminals. Colonel, just tell me. Do you think we're going to find anybody else? Yes. If nothing else, I believe Pacific is alive. Flag officer restrictions could not be maintained on these elevators if their vital signs did not remain. However. The emergency code I used to initialize the elevator, the Phoenix Protocol, was an option of last resort. It was created to function only if less than 5% of the entire expeditionary force could be detected within Kalex. 5%? I do not know why. But there is no doubt now that very few of us remain. So, they're gone. They're really gone. My entire crew. And the Qualta is an even greater mystery. To expect such a small remainder of our forces to uphold so much production. It is as if Command had some expectations that this could happen. But why? Warning. Mechanical integrity theory. System! Hold elevator! Breaker, search the panel for a manual brake lever. Hold on. Should be. override. Sparks. What? Quickly, find something to hold on to. Sparks. Save Integrity failure corrected. Alarm state deactivated. Returning to origin for analysis and self repair. Sergeant, first, this is the message. Speaking to you. I. I don't know. I've never heard it talk like that. Or say my name. Or say anybody's name. We are alive because of it. No. N no, there has to be an explanation. I we have to take it apart. Breaker, I want you Sergeant, to- Sergeant, we must put this aside. We are not safe here. When the elevator stops, we will exit. We will find the answer to this together. You are not alone. Okay, we're not going any further than this. Alright, and it is not doing anything. It's kind of stuck there. There we go. Sergeant. For now, it seems like we won't be going anywhere. The self-repair we were so enthusiastic about looks like it'll be starting over from scratch. So long as it is making progress, I suggest we use the time to continue developing our manufacturing capacity here. It may be of benefit to us in further sectors. 
Agreed. Remain prepared. It will be time before you know it. Well done. So yeah, in other words, uh, gotta wait for the next update. Alright, well that is that. So I guess uh, next episode we'll start doing what they say. Start working some overtime, upgrading stuff, start mass producing stuff. I was already thinking about setting up a, a sort of like a warehouse area where I have everything stockpiling into massive amounts of chests. But until then, I thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give me a like. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Later.